We're at Brooks Camp, which is deep within Katmai National Park in Alaska. Katmai National Park was established in 1918 as a result of an eruption that occurred in the Valley of 10,000 Smokes. The mission of Katmai National Park is to protect and preserve that area for future generations, yet still allow for people to come in and enjoy it today. My name is Roy Wood, and I've been a National Park Service Ranger for 28 years and the Chief of Interpretation at Katmai National Park for 10. July is a pretty special time to visit Brooks Camp because it's when we get the primary rush of salmon into Brooks River, and when you have that many salmon in there, it's an irresistible draw to the bears, and that's what draws in the, the 70 to 80 bears that we may see. I'm on a bear trail. Not a human trail, a bear trail that's been created for thousands of years. And at any given moment, you might find a brown bear. You see the, the like here, here, every bear has put their foot in exactly the same spot for thousands of years and just worn into the ground. What is the habitat in which the bears are living here? What type of trees and vegetation? In particular here, this forest is composed mostly of white spruce. We call them salmon trees sometimes because the salmon go spend most of their lives out in the ocean. And when they're in the ocean, they're collecting nutrients from the North Pacific. And they enter the streams. When they die, those nutrients are released into the surrounding forest. And that's what enables this forest to actually exist. It's amazing, this the synergy between the salmon, the bear, the whole ecosystem, and this whole kind of divine. We got something. Do we have a bear off the trail? When you're walking through the forest here, you've got to be looking, you know, ahead and around, always scanning, looking for that brown fluff. We have a, an incredible safety record here, and, you know, 50 to 60 years of people coming, we've only had two relatively minor injuries. The bears in other locations don't have access to the salmon that our bears have, and they tend to attack defensively. They think you're trying to take their food from them, so they attack. Generally speaking, whenever you are hiking or camping in bear country, don't walk around with smelly items. They like to be left alone as much as possible. They don't want to feel threatened and make noise when you move about. Those are probably the, the, like the simplest things you can do to, to help keep yourself and your companions safe when you're, when you're traveling in bear country. Do you want to head on out over the, yeah, to the platform the and go watch yeah. the bears? And yeah, we'll go through a little walk. summertime they can hunt 24 hours a day here which is good because in the winter time they sleep from November until sometime in April most of them on a good day a healthy bear fishing out of Brooks Falls can catch perhaps 80 pounds of fish you're gonna see a lot of different fishing styles the bears at the top of the fall are practicing what we call a stand and wait they they'll stand there in a prime location maybe where the fish keep jumping up the falls if you're good at fishing in the jacuzzi, you stand there in a cloud of fish all around you and you're just working your front legs, trying to pin one under the water. Some of them will sit there and hold it like a big burrito. Snorkeling, the bear either walks through the water or swims through the water and sticks their face in. We also have what we sort of call the dash and grab which is where you sit on the shore, you see a bunch of fish moving, and just launch yourself out into the water and land on them and try to grab them as you, as you enter the water. Alaska is one of the world's largest natural cathedrals. And that makes a brown bear like one of the world's biggest high priests. <laughs> no, Definitely. They have so much wisdom, so much we can learn. Well, I think the greatest legacy that any of us working in the Park Service can give back to the parks and to the people of the world is making sure that the bears have access to the food, the salmon have clean streams to spawn in, and that every visitor that comes here has a great experience with these bears in this beautiful setting.